It's 2025 and GPU manufacturers still couldn't get past 8GB VRAM capacity. Over the past several generations, this phenomena is widely seen on both AMD and Nvidia's budget segment graphics cards. And even though these companies are trying very hard to defend 8GB VRAM capacity, they seem to be hiding their real intent behind continuing the production of 8GB GPUs. Recently, AMD unveiled its latest RDNA 4 GPU, that is the Radeon RX 9060 XT. The GPU comes in two flavors, offering both 8GB and 16GB capacities, which AMD suggests perfect for ultra smooth gaming. Had the statement was attributed to the 16GB edition, it would have made sense. But the 8GB edition just doesn't belong to this category. It's based on the Navi 44 die and features 32 compute units. The boost clock is around 3.1GHz and it's launching at $299 for the 8GB model and $349 for the 16GB one. According to AMD, the 16GB model beats the NVIDIA's RTX 5060 Ti by about 6% at 1440p resolution. That's quite impressive but the problem is that AMD's marketing doesn't clearly differentiate between the two models. They both carry the RX 9060 XT branding and unless you pay close attention, you might end up with the 8GB version thinking you are getting that high performance. That's one of the reasons why many criticized using the same model name, but this isn't the only reason why the RX 9060 XT 8GB card receives the criticism. If you read the recent tweet of AMD's chief architect of gaming department, it becomes apparent that the 8GB edition isn't exactly what AMD describes in the original press release. Frank argues that the majority of gamers still play at 1080p resolution and that 8GB is enough for that purpose. And to be fair, the Steam hardware survey does show that over 55% of gamers still play on 1080p resolution. He further adds that since majority of gamers still play esports titles, 8GB of VRAM is all you need and if you need more, the RX 9060 XT has another option for you but you will have to pay $50 more for that. Unsurprisingly, the community didn't take it lightly. Many PC gamers see this 8GB variant as a bait. They believe it's just a decoy to make the 16GB version look more appealing. Because if you think about it, a $50 difference for double the VRAM, that's not bad. But then comes the confusion. Both GPUs have the same name, same design and unless you check the specs, you won't even know which one you're getting. That's misleading at best according to many. But this is what Nvidia has been doing with its GPU recently and also in previous generations. Now here are some of the reactions on Frank's statement. Paul from Red Gaming Tech said that AMD should give both GPUs a different name, RX 9060 for the 8GB edition and let the 16GB card retain the RX 9060 XT naming. This is what AMD did with the previous gen RX 7600 series, but remember that both RX 7600 and RX 7600 XT had slightly different specifications. But here both 8GB and 16GB edition of the RX 9060 XT are identical in specifications except for the VRAM capacity. So it may not be the ideal solution, but the 8GB edition could be slightly downgraded GPU for less than $300. Now another guy pointed out that AMD can just release a 10 or 12 gigabyte edition just like we have the ARC B570 and the B580 which is really what the gaming market needs at the moment for a sub $300 price tag. Now basically most of the replies showed some kind of disappointment in Frank's argument but AMD knows exactly what it is doing. AMD already knew that majority of users won't be spending $300 on an 8GB GPU particularly when they get double the VRAM for spending $50 more. Considering it's a one-time purchase and that gamers are already aware of the importance of higher VRAM in modern titles, it makes no sense to settle for less. Even though the argument that majority of gamers who play esports games at 1080p don't need more than 8GB of VRAM is true, it doesn't necessarily mean that those gamers limit themselves playing only those games. They might also sometimes play some heavier games which require more VRAM. We are talking high resolution textures, ray tracing and more memory intensive effects becoming standard now. So this defense doesn't really hold up for those who want high settings with future proof performance and hence they will likely opt for the 16GB model by paying additional $50. But this is one part of the story. The other is related to AMD's own marketing which kinda contradicts Frank's statement. AMD markets the Radeon RX 9060 XT as a 1440p card. Not once, but AMD said it twice in its blog that the RX 9060 XT is made for smooth and responsive 1440p gaming. Nowhere does the article says that the 8GB version is only made for 1080p and of course appears misleading when you consider Frank's statement. 
Now surely you can achieve high frame rates at 1440p with the help of FSR4 and frame generation, but this is exactly why you need more than 8GB of memory since these features need more VRAM to boost performance. So clearly the RX 9060 XT 8GB edition isn't actually what AMD wants to sell, but it wants to sell the 16GB model just like Nvidia. Nvidia knows this strategy very well and launched the RTX 5060 Ti in both 8GB and 16GB flavors for the exact same reason. And we all know how terrible the 8GB edition sells on the market compared to the 16GB model. Both AMD and Nvidia have understood the assignment and the intent of gamers as well. And AMD being one of the first to criticize Nvidia's 8GB GPUs have joined Nvidia as it helps the company generate some additional revenue. Now let's talk about VRAM requirements. In 2025, 8GB is borderline minimum even for 1080p ultra settings in many AAA titles. Some titles like The Last of Us Part 1 or Hogwarts Legacy already maxed out 8GB VRAM even at 1080p resolution, creating stutters and frequent dips with 8GB GPUs. Big game developers seem to be no longer optimizing their games just for 4GB or 6GB cards. They're moving ahead and 12GB is becoming a new standard for smooth gameplay with high textures and effects. So an 8GB GPU might run games today but what about 6 months later or a year? Now you might be wondering why not just include 16GB by default? I mean how expensive is VRAM anyway? Well, here's the interesting part. The cost of 8GB of GDDR6 has dropped significantly down to $18 from $27 as of late 2024. So logically, going from 8GB to 16GB would cost the manufacturer around an additional $18 to $27 or a bit higher when we consider the production costs. While this does seem good on paper as it is more affordable for AMD, but when the company will switch to GDDR7 in the next gen, the cost of VRAM chips will be noticeably higher. Nvidia has already switched to GDDR7 on the RTX 50 series and that's one of the reasons why the RTX 5060 Ti is more expensive. AMD will likely increase the price of RX 9060 successors with the adoption of faster VRAM and once again the VRAM size could stagnate at least for the 60 class cards. Now this brings us to the heart of the topic. Is RX 9060 XT 8GB just a decoy? It sure seems like one. AMD knows 8GB isn't enough for modern gaming, yet they release it anyway. Why? Because it creates a pricing structure that pushes consumers towards the 16GB version. It's a classic strategy known as decoy pricing, less attractive option makes the more expensive one look like a bargain. And let's not forget OEMs and system builders. They'll grab the cheaper variant to slap into their pre-built systems, advertise the 9060 XT and many buyers won't even know they are getting the weaker GPU. So here's the takeaway. The RX 9060 XT 8GB is not a terrible GPU at all, but it's certainly not made for future-proof gaming. It's a temporary patch, a budget placeholder and a way to funnel buyers into spending more. If you are planning to build a PC or upgrade, avoid the 8GB variant at all costs unless you are on an extremely tight budget and only play older or esports titles. And that wraps up today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is 8GB VRAM still relevant or are GPU makers just trying to milk the low end market for every last cent? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.